This is a demonstration of the EG Innovations performance monitoring solution from a Citrix administrator perspective. Adam is the Citrix administrator and I've logged into Adam's personalized view. We're now looking at Adam's alarm window. Now actually Adam may not have to log in uh, at all since all of these alarms can be emailed, sent via text, or integrated into Adam's trouble ticketing system. The alarm window tells us that the cause of our Citrix issues lie within this ESX host by indicating a critical alarm in red. The orange major alarms and the yellow minor alarms are the effects. All Adam really has to do is click this detailed diagnosis icon to get actionable information to resolve this issue. In this case, a process called Samba.exe is taking 95% uh, of the CPU. But let's take a look at some of the effects of this root cause and see what EG is doing behind the scenes. Here's Adam's performance dashboard. It shows a major issue with the service, it shows that one of the segments has a critical alarm, another one has a major alarm, and that all of the components uh, making up the service are shown, including where we have this critical serve, uh, alarm uh, on the ESX host. Now, one of the effects uh, is uh, this major issue associated with the service that Adam supports. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look. We now see an end user experience view. Now this is based on an emulated transaction, but EG offers other approaches as well, including real user monitoring. There are a couple of key transactions that are having uh, some minor alarms here. We, we see some response time issues with access apps and update items. Let's go ahead and click on access apps. Now this takes us to a business service topology view. Now this shows the end-to-end -end nature of the correlation. We can see all of the components of the business service, the NetScaler, the Citrix storefront, the Citrix delivery controller, the ZenApp servers, provisioning service. We even see the non-Citrix components like this Oracle server here. Now most of the components are green and are okay, but we see some minor alarms, and we see a major alarm here with the Citrix Zen app server. So let's go ahead and drill down into that. So we can keep drilling down, and we see that the Zen app server is actually hosted on a virtual infrastructure. And this is where the critical alarm is, this ESX host. We can click on this red critical alarm to see more details right away, but let's see what the impacts are on this ZenApp server. We now see a top to bottom dependency view of the ZenApp server. This layer model is familiar to most IT staff since it uses the ISO 7 layer model as a guide. Each component has a similar layer model that shows the dependencies of the specific component. Let's see what's happening at the Citrix user layer. Using the top to bottom layer view, we can see one of the issues is uh, Scott, uh, this user Scott here is having some minor issues. So we can click on Scott and, and see that he's got 93 CPU time used by his session is at 93%. And again, all we have to do is click the detailed diagnosis icon, and it'll tell us that this Java GUI process is taking up 93% of the CPU time. So in a few short minutes, uh, we were able to uh, get actionable information about a critical issue with the Citrix service. We saw the business transactions that were being impacted, what users were affected, where in the end-to-end -end service topology the issue was, and what layer of the various components were having major or minor issues as a result of this root cause. Now, even in this small demo, uh, there were many major and minor alarms that were the effect of a single critical alarm. And EG Innovations patented 
end-to-end -end and top-to-bottom correlation and predictive analytics immediately gives the Citrix administrator actionable information to resolve these issues. Now, this was just a very brief example of EG Innovation's total performance visibility for Citrix services. Contact EG Innovations to learn more.